o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. What was that team meeting like, and you know, how did you guys move forward as a group after this point? Well, it's a um, it's a paramount time for um, for focus and concentration for us as players. Um, I think the the biggest lesson and, and thing we need to take forward as a, as a group right now is um, we have a game on Sunday and we have playoffs to look forward to. Um, we have to be professionals. We have to focus on what we can control, and um, that's stepping out on Sunday ready to play. Greg said he doesn't think this is going to affect you guys mentality-wise. Mm. Is that is that really realistic to think that you know when you find out there's a chance you have to move in in a year um, that there's there's not going to be any effects on you guys? Um, to say there's I mean, any effects or no effects is, uh, I mean, that's something that each and, each and every one of us has to sit there and, and think about. Um, but like I said, we have to be professionals. Um, at the end of the day, our job is on the field um, and winning games. So how we can get ourselves best prepared for Sunday um, and then the subsequent weeks with playoffs is, is what's going to make us successful. Your personal feel, I mean, how do you feel about all this? Um, I mean, I think one, one of the main words that was talked about this morning in, in the meeting when we found out is um, looking at our owner and um, the ownership group's um, ambition to, to push this club to another level. And um, I think we as players view that as a positive thing. Well, at the same time, you know, you're a homegrown kid, came through the academy, obviously kind of the face of Columbus soccer right now. You know, the potential of this city not having a professional soccer team, you know, whether that happens or not, I mean, how does that sit with you? Well, look, guys, I mean, at the end of the day, no decisions have been made, right? Sure. Um, and I'll reiterate again the fact of um, we as players can't control that. Um, my, I can't control that. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to sit here and, and, and try to get my guys ready to play for Sunday and um, be as professional as possible. I'm sure you can empathize with the fans, though, right? Yeah, I mean, look, there's, there's a lot of information coming out. Um, people react how they react. So... Uh, once again, it's it's um, nothing's been decided. So, how do you feel you keep you guys focused over this next you know week, two weeks, three weeks potentially? Uh, I think it just starts right now with getting everyone recovered on the same page. Starting back tomorrow with a training uh, session where everyone's back in, and um, and making sure we're healthy. And the biggest thing is is looking at what New York City does, and uh, we're in a different venue, so um, preparing for that change and. Um, and knowing it's going to be a difficult task, but it's all still to play for. Is there more on your shoulders, though, now, just with this this coming out? It, it, I mean, job of a captain is to lead. Does this put a little more for you to do to make sure this team doesn't get distracted? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that's my job, right? Um, I have to take a little bit of the brunt of it and, and be a shield for the guys, but also realize that I have to, um, to get guys in a good spot mentally, physically. Um, and, and it's all about preparation. Said. Happy uh